I just sent an email to the AC Milan board requesting more transfer money. Because you see, we were in the Serie B last season. Most of our best players left. And even though we got promoted and now this season we've made some good signings, it's not enough. We're sixth in the Serie A, but our goal is to be number one, winning the Scudetto. But I don't think our squad's ready for it. We need some better players. But with just 22 million, it's not gonna happen. Okay, wait, the AC Milan board have replied to my email. The board, after your consideration, is willing to disperse 60 million if you can get AC Milan to first or second in the league by the 1st of January. Yo, guys, the board are willing to do it. We just need to get through the month of December, try and win every single game. Game. If we do that, I reckon we should be top two, maybe even first in the league. And then the board will give us the means to bring in more players. That's what we need. The board are backing us, but we also need to respond to their faith. All right, boys, every game is like a final. I really want to make some signings in the January transfer window. For that, though, games like this, we need to win. No, 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 we're getting opened up. That's not what we want. We're breaking, making a big save. The pressure's on us, boys, and I think we're starting to feel it. Clear it away, clear it away. No, we don't. We're getting a bit lucky here. Come on, man, we need to calm down. These games feel like finals now to us because, yeah, there's the league ranking. We need to get to the top spot. New signing to Nali, looking for Okafor. Now it's Noosa. There's a bit of pace we've got here. Back inside for Okafor. It was a massive chance. Oh, there's Noosa again. He's having a terrific game, but he couldn't convert it. Guys, this has been one of the worst first halves I think we've had. Bro, we get a bit of pressure from the board and, and we're already crumbling. What is this even? Finally, though, we've got a chance. Our first shot in the game and Okafor does not disappoint. This guy is just clutch. Oh, and we could get another one here. Maldini's going to look Bruh. for that crossing station. And I think that's an own goal. But we'll take it, though. And all right, that is one step closer to us getting that 60 million from the board. But man, even after that win, we're still only sixth. It's super tight, though. I reckon if we win our next game, we should at least be able to leapfrog Inter. Also, a lot of you guys have been telling me we've just forgotten about Musa. And you guys are right. We need to give him more game time. Because, bro, just look at his stats. He looks crazy now with 89 pace. We're putting him in for Loftus Cheek for this next one. And come on, guys. We need to win this too. Oh, it's already a rough start. They've got a chance here, but Verbruggen is solid. Can we actually get a bit consistent? Because what is this? We end up conceding. I really feel like if we lose any of these games before the 1st of January, we're not getting that top one or two spot. Luca Romero, the dribbling is on point, but he needs to look for a pass at some point. No option, so he's going to go by himself. It's brilliant from Luca Romero, and he's managed to force it through. What a dribble that was. No, 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 nope. no, no. Verbrook in good save. We don't want to concede right after scoring. Oh, did he just flick the ball up like that? We're so lucky he missed. Not nah, Genoa are cooking us. Okafor has gone through. He's missed a clutch and he's got himself another goal. We're finally leading this game. Oh, we've got a gift here. Okafor squaring this one for Nusan. That should help settle things. Oh, we're now getting close, boys. The Milan board better get ready to write that check. We've got two games left until the 1st of January. We win them both. We might even be top of the Serie A. No, 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 no. We don't want the pressure of conceding. Good thing it went wide. Okafor with another chance, but the angle wasn't there. Oh, we're getting opened up way too easily, but Verbruggen makes another save. Honestly, man, this first half has been really difficult. Straight away in the second half, though, we're putting pressure as Daniel Maldini with a bit of a good dribble. Fights Ooh. Okafor, it's blocked, but he gets another chance, and this time he fires it into the roof of the net. We could add another one, Daniel Maldini. Oh, it's off the post. We need one more goal to just kill this game off. Is that a knock to Luca Romero? That is not good news. We could still do something on this counter-attack as Daniel Maldini is doing really well. What a pass that is for Okafor. 1v1. You'd expect him to score and he does score. And that's the win against Empoli. Okay, a bit of good news is there's no injury to Luca Romero. It was just a knock. But the bad news is even after all those wins that we're getting, we're still fourth. Even if we win our game, there's a good chance we end up not being top two, which is such a shame. Because, yep, we finished third or fourth by the end of 1st January. It's, it's not coming. We're not getting the check. We're not getting the money. We're going to have to just make 22 million work. For now, guys, all we can do is our job by winning the game. And we'll see what happens for the rest of the teams. Look at Romero with a little ah. shimmy. And come on, man. Don't put challenges like that on him. He's just recovering from a knock. It just feels like ever since the board put pressure on us, we can't start the game well. Look at the pressure we're under. And they almost score. How oh, did he miss from there? Okay, everybody calm. We've got this. I know we do. Look at Romero looking for Okafoy slid through. Mr. Clutch. But he can't score this time. 
Oh, Vandison of all players has broken through. And from a tough position, he's put it home. This is why Vandison has replaced Calabria in the starting 11. He's just too good. Ah, oh, but defensively, we've been really poor. And they take advantage by equalizing. Oh, before again, we know how clutch he is. And he keeps showing why he deserves to be the Milan striker. We've got the ball with Daniel Maldini. And I think he sees that pass. And his vision is just outrageous as Okafor scores another. And that's it, boys. We've done our job. Okafor got a hat trick in this game. Bro, just look at his stats this season. 18 goals and 5 assists. I'm telling you what, Maldini has been pumping in those assists as well. But is that enough to get a stop too? 1st of January, we've of course moved away from 5th. We're in the top 4 now. No. Not this way. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Third in the Serie A. The truth is we're like one point away from being league leaders. In fact, we've got the same points as Juventus. And a goal difference is better than them too. But I think they've got a better head-to-head -head record. Nah, man. That is actually insane. And a deal is a deal. The board said finish top two and they'll give us money. We did do that. And we're not going to get money. Somehow, guys, with 22 million, we need to just make it work. We've got a month to figure out how can we bring in a quality winger into the team. Can't back down, man. We're, we're still fighting for the Serie A. We can still win this. Just got to make this one more signing. But you know what? I think there might be a way, but it involves a sacrifice of our club captain, David Calabria. I'm thinking we put him on the transfer list. He's worth about 22 and a half million. We could get slightly more money for him, but something like that. And I think we can bring in a quality winger to the side. We've also got a few more players I'm looking to sell and let's see if we can get deals done for these because that might give us the additional money we need. But yes, sacrifices need to be made. And there's the big offer for David Calabria. It's from Juventus. I don't want to be selling our players to them, but right now we need the money. 26 million seems good. We're accepting it. And there you go, guys. Our club captain is gone. He's been such a big part of this series. The truth is, though, Van Dyssen got better. We need to sacrifice players. Had to do it. Also, we've generated a bit more cash through some more player sales. And after all of that, we're up to 60 million. Even without the board giving us money, we figured a way out. And now we just got to figure out a proper winger signing that can help this team. And guys, what if this is an opportunity for us to get back at Juventus? They've been signing quite a few of our players all the way back from Mike McNan. What if we get Chiesa? Okay, he might not be the highest rated, but within our budget, he fits. And he's 28, so there's room for him to get slightly better. We should be able to get him. And he's got a lot of pace. I think it's it's just what we need. An Italian leading AC Milan. Let's see if we can get him to betray Juventus. First, though, we got to negotiate the fee. And we got to try and keep this as low as possible. Why has his market value gone up to 54 million? This won't work then. Th this really won't work. Let's, let's counter with 47 and just see what happens. No way. They're asking way too much money for Chiesa. What is going on? We're going to counter with 50 million because, yep, it's it's not going to work. Is he out of our budget? I think he is. And guys, there's literally nobody else that we can sell to get money. They're all way too important for our team. Okay, now look at this. A week later, his market value has gone back down to 46. Bro, what is this happening? His market value has gone back up to 54, but we've managed to bring his price down to 58, but we still need it to be 54. Otherwise, we won't have money for his wages. In fact, I'm going to try 53. And they've gone back down to 55. This might be possible, but I don't know why is there this discrepancy with his value. Let's get it to 53 and a half, boys. We've got to try every bit to get that fee down. So we've got money for the contract. I think we're going to have to settle for 54. I think, yeah, that's his market value, apparently. Let's freaking do it. And they've agreed terms. But here's the hard part. How do we convince him to join us? Because I don't think we've got too much left in terms of wages to offer him. His current wages are 150k. How are we going to get him to accept a wage card? These are his demands. He's willing to accept a wage card. He wants to leave Juventus and join us. That is crazy. I was not accepting that. Every bit of penny we've got has gone into making this happen. And would you believe it? We're bringing Giesa to AC Milan. With that, the transfer window is done. And I'm honestly so proud that we were able to bring in a player like Giesa without getting that extra money from the board. We just somehow made it happen. Now we have no excuses. This is the situation currently in Serie A. We're fourth, but it's so tight. We're only one point off the top. It's now time to go full steam ahead to try and win the league. And 
we're kicking off our title charge with the Milan Derby. Here we go, Milan Derby kicks off. We're on a title charge. We need to win this. Um, but this is not the star we want. Verbriggen again with the save. He's been so good. Not gonna lie, Inter are definitely looking a bit weird without their usual blue kits. But also something you guys should notice in this game. Federico Chiesa is making his proper debut for us and let's see what he can offer. Oh, there's the pace. There's the pace. He's got that playstyle plus. He is using it but couldn't go all the way. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We don't want to be going down a goal to Inter. Especially in a title race. Parisi could do something here. We need to get the ball to new signing Chiesa. Finally, we do. But Chiesa misses. That was a sitter. He's taking the set piece now for us and hopefully it can go better. It does. Loftus Cheek's header was tame. It's the second half now and we got to push more. And Daniel Maldini might be the one near post shot and he's managed to squeeze that in. What an effort that was. That's the response you need. Second half now, 1-1. Remember guys, when we started the series, one of the objectives was to surpass Inter. We win this game, they'll effectively be out of the title race. We would have at least fulfilled that part of our challenge. Not gonna lie, Inter have just not given the ball to us for the last 30 odd minutes. It's been a real struggle. Also, we haven't been able to see the best of Federico Chiesa. We need our new signing to really come alive. And this might be his last chance. Here he goes on the attack now. He needs to beat his man, but he's kind of struggling. And there you go. It's not been his best game. Full diamond. We have to settle for a draw against Inter. That's not going to be good for the title race. And as expected, we've dropped down to fourth. But all our problems could be solved because we're playing Juventus. A better performance from us here and a potential win. We're back in a solid spot for the title. It's first versus fourth in the Serie A. Juventus are a team that really annoyed me with the players they've signed. They've, of course, got Calabria, who they took from us recently. They've also got Mike McNan. I do not want to lose to these guys. Yes, sir. Now against this former club, I want to see a solid performance from him in this one. But it's, he's not gelling well with this team, it feels like. Although all it takes is a few moments and everything could change. Kiesa trying something. It falls for Luca Romero, but the volley is off target. Kiesa now running at the defense. This is Bruh. looking much better, but then he's just getting tackled way too easily. Oh, we've just been opened up and they've scored. It's freaking Gavi. Fair play to Juventus for managing to sign him. But this puts us in a really terrible position. We could have a chance here though with Ruben Loftus. Cheek is not one to normally score for us and he's not going to score here. If we can even salvage a point from this game, I think it could be really huge as Daniel Maldini has found a bit of space to run through. But I don't know what can I do from here. There's not much support. It's coming backwards from Luca Romero. Might have a chance here. Okafor, he's getting tangled up there. Yes, has got a chance. That is his moment against this former club. What a finish that was. Chiesa shows a bit of respect, but you know he's loving this moment. This is why we signed Federico Chiesa. It's full time, and I think this is going to be an important point for the title race. 30 games into the Serie A season now. We're still in the fight, but three points behind Juventus. But honestly, it feels like April could be a really good month for us because we've got some winnable games. Oh, Sandro Tonali of all players is making a lovely run. Romero on the other side. How did he not score? Oh, Luca Romero is making a really nice run. Linking up well with Okafor. And now it's Loftus Cheek with a proper chance and he puts it in. That's what we need. Oh, looks like we've been opened up again. Yeah, it's too easy. It's too easy for them. And here I thought April was going to be an easy month. Yes, has gone through. We need something from him here and he gives us that. That's why we signed him. Yes, so with yet another big goal. Oh, yes, I get the loose ball and off the post it in. That's what we needed. And that's enough to get us the win here. And it does look like April is turning out to being a good month because we are getting wins. And so it comes down to this. Match day 38, Juventus and Milan equal on points. Can't believe this, boys. They've got a better goal difference. But in Serie A, it's the head-to-head -head record that matters. And Juventus is, is better than ours. So for us to win the title, we need to win. And hopefully Juventus get a draw. If we draw, we need them to get a loss. So it's looking tough, boys. It looks like all our effort from being in the Serie B. Back now into the Serie A, making all those transfers. I don't know if it's going to result in a league title. It's going to be extremely close. The only thing we can do is give everything and just win the game. And then we'll see if we're champions or not. The good thing is we've at least guaranteed qualification back into the Champions League. But truth be told, I want to win the Scudetto. And looks like the team is... Oh, already a penalty. Let's go. And yup, indeed, the team is off to 
a flyer here. Who's got the best penalties in the team? I think it is Okafor. Another goal for the Swiss international. Come on. There you go. In a title decider, we're already leading. That is Okafor's 29th goal in 38 games. Like, what a season he's had. Feels like a while we haven't scored from a set piece. We good from this one. And Theo gets, I think, his first goal in the series. Guys, it really feels like we've done our job. Everything now depends on the Juventus result. And that's full time, boys. And I don't know if we're champions or not. I see some celebrations from a few players. I think we are. We are champions. Bro, Juventus have bottled it in the last match day. I legit can't believe it. Bro. I was fully expecting to not win the Scudetto this season. But looks like Juventus have choked. Nah, man. This feels so fitting. Because remember in our first season, we were robbed of the Serie A title on match day 38, basically. This time, we're taking it away from Juventus. It's the youngster, Daniel Maldini, who's had the armband since Calabria left. He's going to get the honor to lift the trophy. He's helped guide this team. And now AC Milan are Scudetto winners. Don't forget, we're not done yet. There's one more goal I want to achieve with this team. And now with the shackles unchained, we should have what it takes to go for the Champions League. Next season, things are about to get crazy.